lot of them in this league, but it yeah. seems like he – has a potential to be maybe a hey man, that's uh, that's that's for y'all to decide. I don't really know where he ranks at, man, honestly. But uh, I know he's got a lot of talent. I know he's um, athletic freak, and I know he has a lot of things that he's capable of doing. Um, so it'll be our job to limit him and um, limit them from making a lot of explosive plays. Right. They do a lot of design runs for him. I know he's probably gonna be a tough guy to tackle one on one. What's the key to going up against a guy like that from a physical standpoint? Uh, I would say just swarming, uh, you know, just everybody getting to the tackle. I think uh, it's not. It's going to take 11 guys, uh, not just one. So I think just everybody just flying to the ball, flying around, uh, high energy, uh, having excitement, and just wanting to go out there and fly around and have fun. Do you guys expect to see Jonathan Taylor on Sunday? Yeah, if he's up, he's up. You know, I, I don't really know how they're going to do that. Um, but if he's if he says he's going, then we're going to prepare like he's going. What is it about these divisional games that kind of bring the intensity level up a little bit more? Uh, I think they obviously matter just a little bit more, um, you know, just being a standing standpoint and just situational. You want to be uh, number one in your division, obviously. So I think that it's just an important game for us um, with it being our first. So we want to set a statement and just kind of keep it rolling. Yes, sir. Give me the finish. A 40? The whole receiver room? Oh, man, that's a hard one. I don't know. Because I ain't going to lie. I'm going to say I cover first every time because I honestly believe I'm one, I believe I'm fast. I know how fast I am. I, don't, I just honestly don't think my 40 shows it. So. Who's, second? Who's second? Who's second? I don't know if I can do it. I know, but that's that's hard because like our room is – I feel like we got a lot of guys that are just – we're all – we don't have no one person that sticks out further than anybody else. Like I feel like we're all just – we're all – we got, all got good speed. In the ball, you don't want all those guys just sit in the box. Safety's able to just come sit in the box. If they had to worry about that deep threat, they're not going to just be – Having eight guys in the box sitting down or else they're going to get bombed. So it's definitely a big part of a game plan. Strong physical runner. Uh, the ability to extend plays, and he's done um, some really good things outside the pocket. So just having that awareness, but also not limiting ourselves in terms of who we are and being aggressive. So I think all that comes into play and um, just got to be able to, to do what we got to do to get it done. When you rush the passer, is it still the, the same thing? Or is it like, do you go to the mush rush or do you? Change how you, how you go after? I think it's a fine balance, right? It's, once again, it's understand where it is. If you open up seams in the middle, he's going to take off. If you don't worry about contain, he's going to take off. So it's having a fine balance of being relentless and aggressive, but also understanding pocket integrity. A guy's going to make a case for himself in three snaps for more playing time, keep him up there in the process. Right? Yeah, no question. Um, took advantage of his opportunity. Certainly going to earn more. Certainly has earned more. And um, big play in the game and uh, appreciate what he's done. What, what do you like about his? Yeah, the number one thing is he came in here ready to work, and that was the biggest thing to me. And he's worked his tail off since he's been here. And the biggest thing also is he took advantage of opportunities. You know, in three snaps, got a strip sack, a big time play in the game, and once again, going to continue to earn those opportunities and more opportunities. And excited he's here to help us. You know, how did that happen? Um, you know, I, I thought the game plan. The guys are really locked in. Um, you know, from a game plan standpoint. And uh, we've kind of been harping the X plays. Uh, you know, if we can limit the X plays, we've got a chance to be really good in the back end. Um, you know, X plays lead to points. And, you know, when you give them up, it, you're at least going to give up three. So we're trying to make a, a concerted effort to uh, eliminate the X plays, stay on top, whether that be coverage, whether that be technique. Uh, but guys are really uh, in tune with that. And do you feel like that maybe is kind of a building block in that regard? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I really hope so. Um, you know, for guys to get a feel and to see it, you know, we talk about it, we talk about it to talk about it, and then when it comes to fruition, okay, you don't give up any X plays, you only give up three points. So there is a correlation to it. And so for guys to see that and understand it, and we just got to make sure we stay in with the details, stay with the technique of everything that we're trying to get accomplished. And if we can do that, I think we have a chance to be successful. It, shoot, there's places where you go through a whole practice where the same five, you know, take the take the every rep that uh, that's out there. So, you know, just the versatility piece and the exposure piece, trying to, you know, get guys ready to go and get it prepared. So, Nick coming back, uh, you know, what kind of makes you feel confident in his versatility and ability to kind of do both right side work and left side work, and where does that leave you with him as you try and figure out where he fits into this this puzzle here? Yeah, I'm just excited to. to be working with him, you know, and uh, he was with us for a little bit there, obviously. And then he's got some some banked reps from uh, from last season, preparation, all that. So um, just excited to have a guy with some versatility and, and some ability to go out and play the game and um, excited to be working with him again. Did he work on a lot at all last year? Um, 
He's done it. Yeah, he's done it. He's worked. Uh, he's you know again we talked about versatility uh, a lot the last couple of years. So he's a guy that's worked um, uh, a few different positions actually going back to last year. So he's certainly worked it. How tough is it though? I guess when you spent the majority you know the season anyway at, at one spot to kind of shift back and, and maybe do some. Um, well, I've never personally done it, um, so you'd probably, you know, a question for those guys uh, as far as uh, how tough, but, you know, seen seen a lot of guys do it, um, you know, in the league going back and forth. So, uh, again, you'd have to talk to the tackles about that uh, process. I'm sure some feel it's one way, some feel it's the other. Well, I guess Peter and, and Nick are both kind of coming back through a situation where they get their stamina back, their conditioning back. I mean, they – kind of let you know when they're good or how much are you kind of watching them to know when they're good? Well, I think as we go through the week and the, the preparation, you know, seeing uh, seeing the strain, seeing the fight, all that stuff, you kind of uh, take a look at that and, you know, formulate your own opinion there uh, from a coaching standpoint. But, um, again, that's another question that you'll have to talk to those guys about, you know, how they're feeling and stuff. But, you know, as far as preparation goes, and those are, those are guys that, that, uh, that battle and, and prepare.